Alexander Volkanovsky never was the pound for pound best. He never was the featherweight goat. And the fans are letting him have it at this point. The fans are fickle. They're fickle like that girl that you thought loved you but left you in the middle of the night. You know what I mean? They they were they were banging the drum saying Alexander Volkanovsky is pound for pound number 1. He's the featherweight goat. But then after he suffers defeat to Islam Makachev, and now Ilya Teporia, what are they saying? Oh, he should retire. He should hang it up. He's done. He's washed. We don't want to see this anymore. Just like that girl you thought loved you. You know what I mean? You're not performing the way that she expects you to perform, and Volkanovsky wasn't performing the way the fans expected him to perform, and they quickly showed him Ain't no love in the heart of the city. Ain't no love in the heart of town. What have you done for me lately? Well, two straight knockout losses isn't doing a lot for the fans lately. And you know what? They're always looking for the next best thing. So I got a bone to pick. I'm so tired of people putting the next guy as the GOAT because they get a few title defenses and a lot of fanfare. You know, they, they're the GOAT. No, they're not the GOAT. Who is the legitimate featherweight GOAT? Well, it's not even close in my opinion. It's Jose Aldo. And I know what you guys are saying. Oh, well, Max beat Jose twice. Volk beat Jose. What version of Jose did they beat? Did they beat the goated Jose? No, they did not. No, they didn't. They beat a Jose that had already lost his aura of invincibility when he was sparked out quickly by Conor McGregor, okay? They didn't even beat the Jose Aldo that defeated Frankie Edgar again at UFC 200. No, they defeated a diminished version of him, and that's why he went down, down in weight, 135. These guys are going up in weight, 155. It matters, okay? Nobody has the resume at that weight class that Jose has. Just because these guys come in, Volkanovski, whom isn't a finisher, might I add. Max Holloway, much respect. Love to see him fight. But they just simply haven't done the things that Jose has done. Numbers don't lie. You can't just leapfrog a guy just because, oh, we like you. Oh, we like you. You're the GOAT. You've been here. You're the No, you're not the GOAT. Jose Aldo Jr. is the fucking GOAT undefeated for almost fucking 10 years you see what he did in the wec do you see what he did when he came into the ufc mendez hominick edgar like i don't have to go on and on chan sung jung like he heard himself whatever jose aldo is the goat at 145 pounds and volkanovsky didn't get there max holloway didn't get there they all suffered defeat before they were able to meet or best Jose Aldo's numbers. So they don't just get to leapfrog him by default. Hell no. Hell no. Jose Aldo's the GOAT. And that's the last time I'm going to say it because I really don't, I mean, it's common knowledge. I don't really need to keep saying it. All right? Then the next the next featherweight, Ilya Taporia, undefeated. We'll see what he does. He gets a, a few title defenses. They're, they're going to be like, oh, he beat Volkanovski. He's the GOAT now. No, he's not. Best Jose Aldo. And then we'll start talking about GOATs. In addition to that, again, Volkanovski was never pound for pound number one. And I said that from the beginning, okay? He did really great at 145 pounds. Did great at featherweight. But when he moved up to 155 pounds and he did not defeat Islam Makachev, people still wanted to rank him as number one, they said, oh, well, he did really well. He did so well. We can't move him down. We can't move him down. I thought that was really disrespectful to Islam Makachev. He beat the guy. He beat the guy. How do you still have this guy ranked above him pound for pound? Well, when when Volkanovsky came in on short notice after Charles Oliveira backed out, Islam Makachev dispatched his ass quick. And now that's why the fans are saying, Oh, well, two knockout win, two knockout losses in a row. Ah, it's time for this guy to hang it up. But 
would they be saying that if 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 Islam Makachev didn't do to Volkanovsky what he did and Volks just got this loss to Taporia, they'd be banging the drum for a rematch. But for some reason, nobody wants to see that. Can you believe that? This guy was the GOAT, they say, the GOAT. Now nobody even wants to see him get a rematch. I tell you what, when Aldo lost to Conor McGregor, every Aldo fan supporter wanted him to have that fucking rematch. He didn't get it, but they wanted him to have it. See how different that is? How different that is? Volkanovski loses. They're saying, oh, man, he needs to retire. He needs to go and hang it up. We don't want to see him flatlined again. All right? And I don't want to either.